Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the review of a psychological thriller book that I just finished reading today. If you watched my wrap up video from last month, from the month of May, then you know that I was head over heels in love with Alex Lake's uh, book Seven Days. So he is my new found favorite author. I really, really love the way he, um, you know, weaves the story uh, around uh, a really, really tense, thrilling situation. And because I was so impressed by Seven Days, I wanted to explore more books from him. So I did read Killing Kate, which I kind of liked, but not much. I think I rated it three, but I was still not disappointed. I continued. I marched on with my journey of discovering more books from Alex Lake and I read The Last Lie. I wasn't disappointed. I really, really loved this book. The main two characters are Claire Daniels and Alfie Daniels. They are a married couple. Now, Claire Daniels has everything that anybody would wish for in their life. She has a perfect life. She has a great husband, a doting father who is really, really wealthy, who can really support them financially and also very influential and also she has a great career growing which she built up from the scratch without any help from her pedigree. She has everything in her life except for children. Let's just say that she really wants to start a family with Alfie. Now Alfie is on the outside a very loving doting dedicated husband so the first pov is of claire's and, and the second pov is of uh, alfie and that's when we realize that what a despicable human being this person is because on the outside he is perfect and everybody has immense respect for him and uh, uh, claire adores him and you know she's head over heels over him but he is kind of a psychopath. He has very disturbing thoughts about people he meets, especially women. Those violent thoughts, unfortunately, does evolve into real life threats uh, for other people. So basically, he's a psychopath, but nobody is aware of it. And he is very skilled in uh, hiding this dark, evil persona of himself. When Claire broaches a subject with him uh, about, you know, going for a treatment or kind of a diagnosis about why they are not getting pregnant after being married and together for so long. Alfie is kind of like, you know, he is done with Claire in his mind and he hatches a plan to avoid her. The book is divided into three parts. The first part is what I have summarized just now. And the second part was my favorite because Till then I was like, okay, I know what's going to happen. You know, he is going to maybe kill her. There will be a final confrontation. But part two really surprised me because I had no clue what was going on. And I like it when an author does that, that, you know, we are not able to guess where the story is going. Uh, but part three actually concluded um, on a high note. Of course, there were no great big reveals. It felt like a walkthrough explanation of how things transpired in part two. So that is part three. So for me, the highlight was the middle portion of the book where I was like so intrigued and, you know, so engaged. The ending did not disappoint at all. It, it did not end with a bang or anything, but it definitely was a satisfying ending and kudos to Alex for that. So this is, I think, something that I noticed in Alex Lake's books that Alex has, uh, it's not the beginning or the ending that is his strong suit. It's the middle portion of the book where he builds the intrigue, the tense situation. You are sitting on the edge of your seat and, you know, sometimes you have to just pause because you cannot take this intense, um, you know, moments. Uh, like almost it feels like, you know, this horror movie situation just before a jump scare. The strength of his storytelling is the middle portion of his books. I have only one bone to pick uh, with this book and that's the fact that the 
narrator of the audiobook w was very robotic or monotonous. I, I found a way to overcome that. I played the audio at 1.75 speed, which did not take anything away from the uh, experience of listening to an audiobook, but that's the way I could avoid her monotonous, boring narration. So that's the only gripe that I have with this book. So I rated this five stars maybe it is 4.5 but because we don't have that option in goodreads i gave it a five star so if you are a lover of psychological thriller to read or listen to this book i'm sure you will enjoy this thanks for watching this guys this is angie signing off i will see you soon in another video Bye bye